to know the story of his great-grandfather Giorgio, who emigrated to America in 1919, Luca Balboni went to the archives looking for the new lost documents of his great-grandfather. There, he began to imagine the American dream that took his relatives from Renazzo to Plymouth. It's the 7th of May 2016, in Cento, and Luca heard that after the earthquake of 2012, many documents and photos about the immigrants of Renazzo were found in the rubble. Going back to Renazzo in April 1919, the Balbonis struggled with the economic problems due to the deep agricultural crisis. So, George and his wife decided to leave Italy and look for a better future on the other side of the ocean. Within the next few days, Giorgio went to the immigration agent of Renazzo, painted by the state, Mr. Bertocchi, who organized the long trip from the port of Genova. Having requested and received all the necessary documents, Giorgio was given all the information about the trip by Mr. Bertocchi. On the 25th of September 1919, Giorgio left from Genova. He was very scared of the long trip and he hoped that the sea would not be rough and stormy because he heard about the shipwreck of the Sirio. On the ship, the conditions of the immigrants were very hard. They slept all crumbed into the third-class dormitories. Giorgio was very sad about the fact that he had to leave his wife and his son in Renazzo, but was very hopeful to change his family life. Finally, after two weeks, Giorgio was close to his destination. The idyllic images that filled everybody's mind crashed with the heavy bureaucratic formalities. The immigrants immediately understood that America was very different from their dream. When all the ships reached Ellie's Island, all the immigrants poured onto the ship's parapets to see the Statue of Liberty. When they arrived in America, the immigrants were shocked by the strict legal and medical system, especially on Ellie's Island, which was also called the Island of Tears. In Plymouth, Giovanni, Giorgio's cousin, took him to his house and showed him his neighbourhood. While on their stroll, they also saw Mari Fortini's house. Mari was a lady from Renazzo that hosted Bartolomeo Vanzetti before he was arrested. Giorgio and Giovanni hoped that Sacco and Vanzetti could prove their innocence and avoid the electric chair. Giorgio's cousin worked in the Plymouth Cottage Company, where many people from Renazzo had found a job thanks to their skills in hemp processing. Giorgio also started working in the Plymouth Cottage Company. By doing this, he got used to the American way of living. After four years, Giorgio had reached good economical and social stability, and it was now time for him to join his family again. On the 6th of June 1923, his wife and his son embarked from the port of Genova, because they wanted to reach Giorgio in the US to be all together again. Many women that were immigrants were working in the clothing industry or at home as dressmakers, and after her arrival, Mrs. Balboni started her own activity. The main problem was not the job, but the language. Learning English was very complicated for her. In the meantime, thanks to his hard work, Giorgio had saved some money and he could leave the job at the cottage company and buy a wagon cart to sell fruit and vegetables. In the heart of the immigrants there would have always been a special place for the small town in Italy. They used to send money to the church all the time. Even the Balboni family didn't forget the priest of Renazzo and his community. After two years, the business of Mrs. Balboni was going well and she got pregnant of a baby girl. On the 21st of March 1935, Clara, the Balboni's second child, is already 10 years old and her brother 21.
Giorgio receives a letter from the Partecipanza Agraria, an old association of citizens which manages some common lands that advised him to move back to his piece of land, Irenazzo, if he didn't want to lose his right to have his land received. That was the rule of the incolato, included in the Partecipanza Statute. Two weeks later, Giorgio, his wife, and his daughter embarked to Italy. His son instead remained in Plymouth and kept his father's business with his uncle. America gave many possibilities to the Balboni's family, but Renato always stayed in their hearts. Giorgio and his wife settled in their house of the Partecipanza Agraria and worked their farms. After a few years, they decided to open a restaurant called Boston, in honor of the land that made their fortune. Rankan Kennedy sell on me one. Me never stop me push it all over the wall. Rankan Kennedy sell on me one. The girl them a go push me down. down. Walk you on that street, me a go stomp me feet. Let me tell you, me can't resist when me got that beat. Yes, you know what I mean. Living in a sick trip, all around is trick me a dribbler. Watch I'm full of way, full of vibe, me a go cross with me sheep. Rankan diggly diggly down down. Rankan can allow me one. The girl them a go push me down on the ground. Run, can, can, is backing down. Hit the name of this sound that we love in. Run, can, can, is backing down. On the music, hey, hey. Run, can, can, is backing down. On the beat we are moving now. Run, can, can, is backing down. Run, can, can, is backing down. Hit the name of this song that we 